Well, hi. So, I'm going to do the changeover right now. What I'm doing right now is I'm going to unhook the still, take the worm off, I'm going to clean out what's inside the still, and then I'm going to do a changeover to the next run of the still. In other words, I'm going to be adding more mash to the next run, and I'll be starting up the still again. I will try to remember to run over temperatures and stuff like that for you as I go. But, so, this is what I'm doing right now. This is how long it takes and what it takes to reload when you're doing a mass run on your still. The longest time it takes for the still is uh, for it to heat up. To get to around 190, it's right where you want it. I have it set on my stove. That as soon as the temperature gauge gets to just just about 200 on the temperature gauge, I shut the burner down to medium, right at medium heat, and I just let it go, and it'll brew off the heads. Once the heads are off, I know by the way they look and the way it smells, what the heads are like. Once the heads are off, then it brews into. Some wonderful moonshine. Now this is just a runoff of one and a half gallons of mash. Oh my, that smells mighty fine. So that'll go in here. Yes, this is a clean bottle. You should get drunk off the smell. In she goes, just like so. That's ready for the next run, just like so. Nice and clean. Good bubble action. Yeah. Nice. So that's about a Mickey. I got about a Mickey off of uh, one and a half of these. And that's a one gallon jar. Yeah, that's a half a gallon I'm holding like this. So, let's reload. Okay, you ready? You watching? You good? Okay, here we go. Catch can, dumped. Draining the worm. Removing the worm. Yes, it's hot. The worm is extremely hot. Draining the hoses. Worm is clear. Clearing my sink of my tools that are in the sink, whatever else is there. Now, that still is at about 180 degrees still, 190 degrees. Is that rule of thumb or what? Yeah, it is. The top. Make sure you don't put your over the hole because that'll burn you still now when you rinse this make sure you only rinse that part don't get any water on the gauge just like that is all it takes done now for the pot. Now she goes. Give it a rinse. Just like so. Let her drain. I'm 
ready for the next batch. Here we go. Now, remember it's still hot. So, I want to run one and a half. One and a half. So now that's got a whole bunch of shit in it. Well, I can't run that into still. That just won't do at all. Up like that, and then she goes. Just like so. Flip, 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 flip. Make sure she drains in good. Want to get all that goodness in there, you know? All that wonderful goodness. Okay. That's done. That can go in here. Okay, it can go on the floor. What the fuck? I'm running out of room. Oh, this shit never works out great, does it? Damn it. Damn it. Hang on. Now my floor smells like marijuana. Yeah. There we go. Okay. We got another half gallon here. There she goes. There you go. Those little leaves won't really matter. I think she's a bit full, but now I want to rinse my jars before I hook the stool back up. Because if I can start the next brew, well, I'll probably do that tomorrow. One, clean jars ready for the next run. They can go back over here for now. I still have one to run after this. I make sure and clean everything as I go. That way I don't get a backlog of dishes, you know. So just like that, the still is reloaded. Put on the top. Put the worm back on. That damn thing didn't release properly again.
I've got a minor leak in the worm right there. It doesn't hamper the still at all. It still runs just fine. The worm's what the cooling water is. It goes in here and comes out here and just goes out the sink. It has nothing to do with the alcohol except cooling it so that it can be liquefied again after it's been heated up so much. So I keep this here. I keep the cloth there like that so my hoses don't get scorched. Okay. That goes right back there. I'm right back good to go. There's my glass for catching the heads. Like so. This catches the drips off of there. Like so. This goes back on here. Like so. Nope, it's not going to work. Every single time. You always got to go through stuff like this. Every single time. Yep. I got to rebuild this process is what I got to do. But I was a bit ingenious on the way I put this together. Jeez, maybe I did too good, eh? Damn ya. getting in the way there we go that goes on there like so this goes underneath because that hose is held by this hose, like so, just like that, and to stop the noise, put my dampers in, like so, like so, water on, Not too fast. Not too fast. Start by heat. Turn up my water a bit. Want my worm to fill. Now, in your top hose, you're going to get bubble there, okay? With your worm as it's filling up. So what you want to do is you want to tap that hose just like that until it starts coming out the drain. Wait for it to get full first or a little bit full. You'll get to a level about there and then yeah. And then you tap like this. She's draining fine now. She's working fine, as you can see, she's draining fine now, you can hear it, that's the sound it makes when it's draining fine and breathing right, now we wait for this to heat up, we get to about, oh just under 200, and perfect, we're good to go. Ha, ha, ha.